I'm Stephen Ben Danoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. There's a, just a whirlwind of events that are going on that we need to bring you up to speed on, and starting uh, with the news there from uh, Israel's national news. We have the Zaka transfers, the Paris attack victims from France to Israel. Four of those victims that were killed in Paris, France, the Zaka volunteers in Paris prepared the bodies uh, of, the, of the terror victims in Friday shooting at the Hyper Kosher, uh, Kosher uh, store in southern Paris on Sunday before they are to be brought to Israel for burial. Uh, very honorable thing indeed, no doubt, that, that would be where any true Jewish person would love to be buried. So it's a great honor that they actually did this, and it's such a blessing to be able to report a good news out of something that is quite evil. Uh, another interesting uh, news article from Israel National News that we wanted to bring to your attention is that a top Hamas official, get this, a top Hamas official, and of course Hamas and the Palestinian Authority have linked together as one organization. His name is Mahmoud Azar, slams Palestinian uh, chief Mahmoud Abbas for participating in the anti-terror rally in Paris. Well, it's nice to see that at least he's not a hypocrite, this guy here, but knows that Mahmoud Abbas definitely is a hypocrite. Uh, Mahmoud uh, Azar, a top Hamas terrorist in Gaza, slammed Palestinian Authority Chief Mahmoud Abbas for participating in the anti-terror rally in Paris Sunday as Azhar called Abbas hypocritical for participating in the event. This is being reported in Israel National News, Arut Shiva. Uh, it says the participation of Abbas in the event is part of the hypocrisy and the political acrobatics that Abbas commonly participates in, Azahar said. Abbas wants to show that he can fight terror, but he does not even know the meaning of uh, oft of terror, excuse me, that is a typographical error in their article there, of terror. In an interview, he said that Hamas was opposed to the terror attack at the Charlie Hebdo magazine in which 13 people were killed, saying that Hamas was opposed to all acts of terror in a country, in any country. He refused, however, to condemn the attack of the hyper kosher, uh, kasher, kosher grocery store on Friday in which four Jews were killed. Speaking Earlier, economics minister Naftali Bennett said that Abbas was the last person who should have been invited to the million-plus rally in Paris Sunday. If he wanted to fight terror, we have to call it by, by the name. Both Abbas and Emir uh, of Qatar, who was also invited to the rally, have their hands full of the blood of terror. How can the West fight terror if it is willing to live with terror? As uh, quoted by uh, Naftali Bennett. And quite interestingly enough, some, something that people may not be aware of, and that is that the French people in Paris, when they saw that Netanyahu was determined to come to the rally, they didn't want him coming, Prime Minister Netanyahu, they didn't want him to come, and they told him if, if he were to come, they would invite Mahmoud Abbas, in which they did. So it only shows that it, it puts a bad light on France as a nation that harbors terrorists as well as a nation that is supportive of terrorists. Of course, they're showing a new light and trying to bring troops together. Another interesting article they brought out where they, they brought in 10,000 troops into Paris in order to strengthen security amid what they're expecting to be further violence in uh, France there, in Paris, the capital. There is still a great deal of threat expected, and so they brought in more troops. It's something that as we begin to look at this particular article here, it may be something that America could expect with civil unrest as well. Troops being deployed, their own military troops against the Constitution of the United States deployed on its own people. As we saw, the National Guard was called in in uh, Missouri recently uh, due to the unrest there. So just a little thought to keep in mind there. Going to some other news that we have, uh, we're keeping up with things that are developments that are breaking uh, out in Russia on a regular basis here because we, we consider this uh, of very serious uh, interest to both uh, the people in the West and the United States as well as in the European Union uh, because there's a lot of tensions over the sanctions that have been placed on Russia and Russia is definitely not playing games as they are preparing 
for a possible war either with the West, the United States, or even with the European Union. Uh, in an article in the Moscow Times that reads, uh, stated here on, on January the 12th, Russian paratroopers to train in 20 foreign countries this year. Uh, we've highlighted some of the comments in this article. Russian paratroopers will conduct exercises in 20 foreign countries this year as Moscow continues to flaunt its resurgent military muscle amid a standoff with the West over Ukraine. A military spokesperson was quoted as saying by the Interfax news agency on Monday. Uh, he said here, in the course of the airborne troops, VDV, uh, international activity meetings, exchanges, and exercises will be held with the armed forces of about 20 countries around the world, said VDV spokesman, uh, spokesperson, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Afghani Mishkov. Uh, according to Mishkov, the VDV plans to train with special units throughout the former Soviet uh, region, Europe, North Africa and South America and Southeast Asia this year. Uh, Russian paratroopers last exercised abroad in November when they dropped in Serbia, Russia, historic Slavic ally in the Balkans, which borders NATO member Croatia. Uh, these exercises will feature the transport of airborne units over long distances in a variety of climates, Mishkov added. As Moscow pushes forward a 20 trillion ruble, that's 350 billion dollars, military re, uh, excuse me, rearmament program, the defense ministry has taken uh, pains to increase the preparedness of its forces by conducting more frequent field exercises. Media report last year said Russia will hold a total of 4,000 exercises across all branches of the military this year, 1,000 more. Than last year. Now, keep in mind just the areas that they have named in this article here. They're talking about the the the, the uh, let's back up and look at some of these. I think it's very important to to bring some of this back out. They're talking about Africa. They're talking about Europe. They're talking about, of course, that's Northern Africa, South America, South Asia. All of these places are where military interests are for the United States as well. Very serious, very serious news, in, indeed. Uh, another interesting article that we are following was uh, uh, an article that is uh, from um, this one here, I believe, is from TASS. Yes, this is from TASS, another Russian news agency. Attempts to isolate Russia futile, the R Russian foreign minister actually states here. And uh, in, uh, just uh, capping just the highlights of this article here. There are no prospects for isolating Russia in, in this or that way, Lyarov said at a meeting with the Latvian counterpart Edgars Rinkovics in Moscow. We have partners, he added. Moscow is not planning to discuss criteria for sanctions to be lifted. It's interesting. Watch what he says next. As sanctions are illegitimate, uh, Lavrov noted. We will not discuss anything. These are absolutely illegitimate measures. The minister also said that Russia does not plan to restore the Soviet Union or a Tsarist empire, as stepping up partnership with the Russian world means cooperation similar to that between Fran uh, Francophone countries. Uh, Lavrov noted, uh, noted that no one in Russia plans to revive the Soviet Union or empire. Uh, and very interesting here. He also states in here, Russia is hopeful that Latvia's presidency with the EU Council will promote the settlement of the problems between Russia and the European Union. I've, I have noticed that a lot of his remarks, they're being directed towards the European Union. Although the United States is the one that has placed those sanctions, it is almost like they're letting the United States know that the, the people that that they're going to put the threat on is going to be the EU, and that would be Germany being the, the chief uh, one that is bringing that out. To make matters worse, Interpol has uh, added the former president, uh, Janu Kovovich, to the want most wanted list. Uh, uh, that's the Ukraine's former president. It was added to the most wanted list. It says here, this is also on TASS uh, uh, Russian News, the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, said on Monday it had, it had put Ukraine's ousted president, Viktor Yanukovych, uh, his son, Alexander, and former Prime Minister Nikolai, Nikolai uh, Azarov on a wanted list. 
Uh, earlier, Ukraine's interior minister, Arsen uh, Abokov, wrote on Facebook that today, several months after Ukraine sent a request to Interpol in March of 2014 with the arguments and explanations prepared by the Interior Ministry, the Prosecutor General's Office, and the Security Services of Ukraine, and Interpol's Special Commission has come to a decision. Only, this can only cause more tensions between Russia and the European Union. So I, don't, I can't, can't even imagine what to think after that. Um, also, the, the Million Man March that was in Paris for the Solidarity uh, for the Jews that actually died and the other people that died in the terrorist attack. Uh, uh, President Barack Obama, his administration un are under sharp criticism because no one, no one of high ranking of status in the U.S. government attended this march. And yet 40 different nations were there representative. Uh, it says here uh, the, in, in, in the... Uh, article here on uh, CNN says, while President Barack Obama took heat from the political foes for failing to attend a historic event that drew major world leaders, he also was criticized by members of the mainstream media. Jake Tapper uh, of CNN said, disappointed, not the President Barack Obama there. I don't mean this as a criticism of the Obama administration, but just as an American, I do wish that we were better represented in this beautiful procession of world leaders. It was also stated there was a smaller march that was put together in Washington, D.C., only blocks from the Capitol, and no official was a part of that either. Very sad to say. The, the march itself ended up being estimated at 3.7 million in rally for the, for the loss of life there in uh, Paris, France. Uh, estimated about 1.5 million of those were the actual French people themselves. I'm Stephen Bentonou with Israeli News Live. Shalom.